Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Rule the Waves 3 as Japan. So we are in our seventh month of war against Britain in what is probably going to be the last major war of the campaign. Um, if not potentially outright the last war. That last bit partly depends upon how good or shitty our diplomats are. If they basically decide to give us effectively a white piece very early on, then there might be another war. <laughs> uh, but I'm hopeful not. I'm hopeful that won't be the case, and this will be the last war, as well as the last major war of this campaign. But nonetheless, uh, France recently joined in. They haven't really done anything so much. Um, I think they might have only just joined in like at the end of the last part. Um, or maybe the turn right before then. But either way, they haven't really been involved in the war so much. So, they haven't done anything. Um, Germany still has not joined in either, unfortunately. Um, but they, I'm hopeful, will be more inclined to join in in the near future because their tensions are at eight with France. So hopefully those will keep going up. Um, but on the other hand, we potentially have Italy joining in as an ally uh, because they are at 14 tensions with Great Britain. And that will hopefully result in them going to war with Britain in the near future, which will result in us getting Italy as an ally, which of course, Coincidentally, being allied with Germany ourselves also results in the this is totally not the Axis powers. Because um, us in Germany are not fascist. Um, Italy is, however, fascist. So uh, that's something to consider. But uh, yeah, let me go ahead and get my timer started now. And uh, let's continue on. And like I said, uh, hopefully Italy joins in in the near future. And, uh, or well, rather, goes to war with Britain in the near future. And hopefully Germany decides to get off their ass and actually do something useful. Um, but as it stands right now, the war effort is not pretty, per se. Um, I mean, we're, you know, we're, what, roughly... Two to, uh, what is that? No, that'd be, I guess, technically more of a four to one-ish, three to one. I don't know, somewhere in that rough ballpark. Uh, we got, you know, a fair bit more VP than them, but uh, uh, they got a much larger Navy. So <laughs> purely in the sense of a, a war of attrition situation, uh, they'd win. So that's something we sort of need to avoid which is why I would love it if Italy got involved, because they have a relatively sizable fleet. Um, it's actually like the third largest fleet in the game behind the U.S. and Germany. It actually is larger than Britain and France. Uh, not by a whole lot in the case of Britain. It's about 60,000 there. Um, a very tiny budget relatively speaking, for a fleet of that size, which makes me curious as to how exactly they're actually affording that. And I'm assuming the answer is partly because they're fascist, and that's helping them a little bit in terms of their budget. But, uh, oh well, whatever. Let's go ahead and uh, continue on. Um, unfortunately, our invasion of Papua, or Papua, I, don't, I can never pronounce it right. Um, we'll just call it New Guinea. Uh, did not exactly go very well, um, but in exchange, we did take out a fair few of the British carriers in the area. Um, and by that, I mean, we took out two, and I think they only had three, maybe four in the area initially. So, you know, that's relatively decent, I suppose. Um, let's see. And yeah, we got missile submarines coming on, but they're not going to be here for about another year. <sighs> Ooh! Convoy attack against Great Britain off the coast of Zanzibar. We have 
two dreadnoughts, two CAs, two CVs, 15 destroyers, and they have an estimated six armored cruisers, 22 light cruisers, nine, ugh, not a fan of that, CVs, three CVLs, and 57 destroyers. Due to an intelligence coup, we can ambush an enemy force. Okay, you have my interest there, game. And in all actuality, it's looking pretty shitty. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so we have two CAs and uh, four destroyers versus what is an... Well, the estimated enemy force in battle is a CV, a CVL, three CLs, and three destroyers. Which I would expect us to be able to handle with relative ease. However, it's the estimated enemy forces in area that kind of scares me. Now, because this is a intelligence coup, which I... What? I don't think I've ever seen that before, but then again, it was only near the end of this series where we got this brand new battle preview set up. That's interesting. So we could decline this if we didn't want to fight it, and we would get no penalty at all. We did exceed the command check. I could, in theory, add another ship. But the question is, what could I add? And of course, Rearranging the force just before battle increases the risk of mistaken orders, which is a reason to, you know, maybe not do it. These are tiny. Jesus Christ, those are tiny destroyers. <sighs> Can I have the data on these? Well, we're not going to be getting most of them anyway, since evidently they are at uh, zero endurance. So we're only going to get two, it looks like, which are, of course, the two smallest, the Yanagi and the Yao. Neither of those are exactly ones that I'm screaming to add to our group. In fact, I'd rather replace them if I had the opportunity. We're back. For whatever reason, my dog decided to freak out because she heard something drive by, I guess. Let's go ahead and uh, continue on. Um, yeah, okay, that's, uh, it's not exactly what I want to see right out of the gate. Those are the ones I want to destroy up here. Because these are the combat vessels. Uh, oh, it looks like that... Uh... Well, 
Well, the one that's interesting. Incoming missile shot down by radar guided medium AA. That's okay. Oof. <laughs> um, hit the belt extended, but doesn't seem to really cause any damage. We will, I think, rely on the secondaries to deal with the transports. Really want to kill the actual combat vessels if at all possible. Alba oh, took another missile. Fire control damaged. Managed to hit somebody with a torpedo, basically on accident. Of course, uh, unfortunately, we can't really tell what we're shooting at because we don't have the ability to, you know, identify it. We're mostly just kind of relying on how they're maneuvering to give us any sort of ideas to what we're dealing with. And there are... Well, the CVs look like they're probably off to the north somewhere so my question is what i want to do with the destroyers so i have the cas try to hunt down the enemy cvs without assistance hmm i'm gonna say yes the Albo, excuse me, the Alba and Kako are going to head north to try to hunt down the enemy CVs because that's where I presume they are at least. Oh, shit. Well, we're claiming that we hit a CV here, but that ain't a CV. I can tell you that right now. Well, I can say that with a reasonable degree of confidence at least that it's not a CV. I, I could certainly be incorrect on that. Um, what was something over here? What are we claiming? Destroyers. Okay. Um, that I will say is probably fairly accurate. Uh, Yamakaze is going to sink. Which is a shame because that's the big one that we literally freaking specifically requested be brought in for this operation. Have you attempt to make it to port. And same with you. You guys aren't doing so hot. And I think change of plans, you guys are going to turn around. And I guess just actually try to deal with the main objective. If we have time to go after CVs, then okay, we'll, we'll try. And hey, you know, if you sink a whole bunch of destroyers and cruisers, that's fine as well. There's the objective. Uh, something is trying to just flee out to the northeast.
Are you flooding? Nope. Okay, good. Are you flooding? Nope. Good. Neither are you, but I need you to not be under AI control if you don't mind. Uh, you are flooding. I'd love for you to get that under control. Uh, some supposed CV is beelining for us. I'm not a fan of that. Mostly because I'm pretty certain it's not a CV. If it was, I wouldn't mind it. But I have n literally no reason to actually agree with that being a CV. It has a much better chance of being a CL with torpedoes. Which I don't want. Getting close to me if I can avoid it at all. You know, sometimes this alt key doesn't seem to, you know, register, and so the game doesn't do its one minute like it's supposed to. Now, I'm pretty sure it had that same issue when it was on Spacebar, so it's not really an issue with the new control scheme. It's just sometimes the game, I think, doesn't actually... The game pauses but doesn't recognize that it's paused, and so it doesn't correctly <laughs> do what it's supposed to do. And unpause when you press the run for one minute button. A bunch of these are going to be the transports, but hey, the more transports we sink, the more points we get for sinking transports. That's uh, not necessarily a bad thing. You're not actually aiming at anything. The Kako is, uh, ooh, 10 out of 10. Wonderful. Uh, you can turn north now towards Tonga. Actually, I don't know if you can dock in Tonga. I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah, it's got a port symbol, so, well, you know, it's got an anchor at least, so you should be able to. Uh, you're still flooding. Could you could you deal with that? That'd be great. Uh, I think we're gonna have the Fubuki break off. I don't think it's really contributing anything of real worth. Also, I feel like we're not picking up as much stuff on radar anymore. I'm not 100% certain as to why that is. Presumably it's because they've sunk. You know, that's what I would like to think is the reason, but I actually don't know if that is the reason. How oh, good you dealt with your flooding. Uh, near max speed is going to be five, because I don't need you to start flooding due to <sighs> bulkheads being breached due to high speeds. That's fine. Yep, go ahead, interport. That is a destroyer. I can say that with a reasonable degree of confidence because it's just far too small of a icon. Um. Who set you on fire? Five inch shells from a destroyer. It's not 
very nice. Oh, but you actually dealt with it in a reasonable time frame. Holy crap. Did our guys figure out how to do damage control for once? And we'll try to hunt these guys that are fleeing north. Ooh, Fubuki reports a possible submarine. Where's the Fubuki? Right there. Um, well, don't have a good way to really hunt down... Somebody's reporting an unknown radar contact down here. Probably destroyers. Or corvettes. Don't really care. We don't really have a good way of actually having our guys engage. Possible submarine contact, so... We're not gonna sit around there. We're just gonna avoid the area with the bigger ships, which means... Whenever you guys decide to turn around to head to port, you're going to basically sail along the north side of this little island here rather than the south side. Also, I'm going to say this. Um, this British port in Zanzibar is in the absolute worst possible location it could be in in terms of attempting to resupply. Because unless they have a port over here on the east side of the island that they can use, they would need to sail around the north or south ends of the island, both of which get them in range of, well, well within range. You know, basically right on top of us, of our air bases here. And so we'd be able to pretty easily sink that shipping. We'd have a bit of a harder time when it comes to the east side of the island just because Presumably, we'd have a harder time necessarily knowing that they're there. But if they have to come along the west side, somebody will see them and say, launch the aircraft. Okay, that guy's dead in the water. Let's head for this dude down here to the south who's still moving around a little. Get behind him so he can't launch torpedoes if he's a destroyer, which he probably is. Come on. Nope, not quite dead in the water yet. I thought he was for a second there. Uh, daylight is coming ever so slowly. And we still have a shit ton of endurance on our CAs here. Uh, we're running low on ammo. I want to sink this guy because he's definitely a destroyer of some sort. There we go, dead in the water, tell you to hold fire for the foreseeable future, and then I don't know where we want to go. Supposedly there's uh, supposed to be some CVs out here somewhere. I don't think we ever got anything real spots on them. I uh, don't know what that is, but it's moving fairly slow. So it's probably a wounded ship. And we've 
dead in the water. Leave it be. Uh, not picking up any radar contacts in here. At least no obvious ones. Now somebody is shooting some big guns. I think we're going to head down here, which unfortunately does mean going past the potential radar content or the uh, submarine which I'm not exactly a big fan of doing, but I think we're going to do it anyway, because we're claiming something over here. You know, our MTBs are saying that they're picking up radar contacts, and I hear somebody firing a big gun. So if it's something like a CA or something, I would love to sink it, given the opportunity. Although, admittedly, there is a general lack of aircraft being launched, I feel like, to actually deal with whatever is supposedly here. Well, it turns out there was no CVs, uh, but we sunk two CLs, four destroyers, a Corvette, and 17 of 18 auxiliaries, which would be the transports. Uh, heavily damaged one more destroyer, lightly damaged another. One of the transports managed to get away without any damage done to it whatsoever. I want to view the map. What were we picking up over here out of curiosity? Oh, a destroyer. This is probably the lightly damaged one, if I had to make a guess. It's another 5,000 VP for us. Uh, not sure how we managed to, based off that battle, steal specs on a French light jet fighter because I don't think we shot any down and I don't think there was a single French thing there in general anyway so even if you tried to say we picked up survivors which we did not do at least not with our the vessels we were commanding maybe the MTBs did it or something I don't know if they even can so I don't quite get how that works our top spy managed to get hold of some enemy gizmo that we can use to match their electronic warfare capabilities well damn our top spy is good at his job and kawasaki has developed an improved jet attack what does it do it is faster and has a bit more range and that's literally the only thing it's got going for it I mean, I have no reason to decline it. I'll, you know, I'll say, I'll admit that. Ah, oh, you bastards, you sunk one of my destroyers. And a light cruiser got sunk by a mine. But suck on that, Britain, I got my revenge. Aha, Great Britain is apparently having financial difficulties and needed to halt the construction of a new CV to replace the CVs we sunk. All according to plan. Those tensions continue to go up between Germany and France, so again, hopefully Germany will get off their ass in the near future and we can go to war again.
or well, they can join us in the war, rather. But we are still waiting for that. Intelligence coup again off the coast of Zanzibar. What do we got this time? Estimated enemy forces in the battle is one CV, two CLs, and three destroyers. And we have the Albo and Kako again, as well as a handful of destroyers, most of whom we will probably not have. Um, I would say that I don't generally have a reason to say no to this. Also, I clearly read this wrong. This is a shore bombardment and not a convoy attack. I thought it was another convoy attack. Um, but a shore bombardment, a shore bombardment is not something I will complain about. Uh, oh, and it's on the west side of the island, so it's going to be super easy for us to go and attack. Relatively speaking, of course. Did I say west side of the island? I meant, I meant east side of the island. You guys have helicopters, right? Yeah, okay. Radar contact, fire at will! Although I don't think any of you guys have... Oh no, you guys do have SSMs. Yeah, that guy's not gonna have... Ooh! Uh, well, no, I'm pretty sure that's the same one being hit twice, and uh... He ain't having a fun time. Oh shit. Uh, whoops, I'm selected on the wrong people for one thing when it comes to actually, you know, controlling <laughs> what we're doing. Uh, that is a lot more enemies than we initially anticipated, game. But if that is in fact a CV, I want it sunk. Uh, this is middle of the night. Daybreak is a ways out. Um, let's see. Do I want to do a flotilla attack? I think I will. We also do, of course, need to, you know, actually destroy the bombardment target, so... Would like to deal with that. But... Uh, we know where the bombardment target is, so it's much easier to deal with. I would love to sink these things, if at all possible. But unfortunately, they are pretty damn fast. That's a destroyer, I'm fairly certain. What the hell are you? I don't know. I don't know where the CV is. Or what we were identifying as a CV, which... I'm somewhat confident might actually be a CV. Oh shit, Kako just hit a mine. And has a shit ton of flooding, so it's gonna break off. 
so that it can move independently to slow down and deal with the flooding. And the Alba is going to move with the destroyers back to the bombardment target. Because those guys are heading into port, so nothing I can really do about that. Is that actually a CV though? I don't really think it is, if I'm being completely honest. It could be, and if it is, great. We managed to just stumble on it. I won't complain. I'm just not 100% confident that it actually is. You save your ammo, you save your ammo. Need you to deal with that last little bit of flooding if you don't mind. And of course, you're probably not going to deal with it, at least not in a timely fashion. Okay. You guys move into position, go down to cruising speed so you have maximum time on target. going to slow you down even further and cruising speed down to nice slow 10 knots um kaka you know what kaka how are you just heading to port it's much closer and you're clearly not going to deal with that last bit of flooding anyway okay bombardment target dealt with go back to cruising speed uh, those MTBs are being shot at. Actually, go Squadron Max. Let's see, what are some of these? Oh, that, we're claiming that was two Dreadnoughts up there. I'm staying away from there. Don't believe the enemy had an estimated force of dreadnoughts in the area but i'm still gonna avoid it just for my own safety because the alba is on its own and it's only got eight inch guns so not the greatest when it comes to trying to deal with a dreadnought especially one at this point in the game Uh, nothing up there. Oh, I forgot to actually take the Alba off of uh, Hold Fire anyway, so it wasn't shooting at the ground bombardment target. It was purely the destroyers that were dealing with it. Well, let's shoot up their airbase for a bit, I guess. I'm claiming a transport out there. We can go sink that. Why not? Still can't see shit. Even though it's just a drizzle. That seems like a transport. 
Yep, and it's dead. We say that there was a destroyer up here at some point back in the day. Three destroyers, actually, it looks like now. Sure, go and pick up survivors. Why not? I'm gonna say, how are you guys not picking them up on radar yet? A flirt class. It's an interesting name for a destroyer. And he's not having a fun time. And he's dead in the water and well, not quite dead in the water actually. Guess we gotta turn back. He ain't dead. So long as they're not dead in the water, you know, they're still a threat. So finish them off. Inching along, but still moving. Oh, you poor bastard. Dead in the water just before you hit the suspected enemy minefield area. That completely prevents us from being able to move into the area. Because even though there are mines outside of the suspected minefield area, it's just a way for you to not be able to basically sit right on top of their port. And I don't know, I guess try to go pirate on them. Unknown radar contact. What are we saying this is? Don't have the faintest idea yet. It's not moving particularly quickly. Seems to be a decent sized... Oh, never mind. It is just a patrol boat. I was going to say it's a decent sized thing, so maybe it was a cruiser of some sort. Or one of the supposed dreadnoughts. But no, it's a Corvette, and it was probably misidentified as a destroyer by a recon aircraft. Yep, go pick up survivors, why not? We get points for that. Um, ooh, that sounds like some big guns. Nope. That was probably us. And no more sh British ships in the area. And there were no CVs. So what we sunk that we claimed was a CV was probably just a light cruiser in all actuality. But that is another 4,300 VP for us. The British Prime Minister, eh, Prime Minister holds an eloquent speech stressing the need to fight for freedom and democracy. Unrest is reduced in Great Britain and allied democratic nations. Um, no, sorry, the army isn't really doing anything in this war. This is an island hopping campaign, so I cannot see how driving tanks around the countryside can decide the war. True victory lies at sea. Uh, yes, I will. Screw it, I'll take a brand new helicopter. I want it to be lots of range and reliable. It doesn't need a ton of speed because helicopters don't really move that quickly in this game in general. Torpedoed and damaged a British dreadnought. Wonderful. And in exchange, they sunk one of our submarines. And our dreadnought hit a mine. Let's see. Tensions. France has increased their naval budget. Britain has increased their naval budget.
Tensions between France and USA decreased due to shared common values. Russia and Italy due to different increased due to different government types. France and China because of different government types. Studies of enemy unexploded ordnance indicate that their AP shells are designed for maximum oblique penetration. For Britain, okay, let's see, nothing particularly useful there. Germany will hopefully be joining in very soon. They're at 10 tensions with uh, France. I'm frankly surprised Italy hasn't gone to war with Britain just yet. But okay, sure, whatever game. Who are you following? You are for Battle Division 1. Battle Division 1 is situated in the South Pacific, so send you to the South Pacific. All by your lonesome. I'm sure that won't go poorly for you at all. No siree. Italy's got a sizable fleet in the Indian Ocean. If they would just go to war, come on, Italy. You know you want to do it. Just declare war. Just do it. Do it. For both of us. Uh, my timer is about to go off, so I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. I will see you all next time where we will be continuing this war. We are now nine months in. And, uh, well, not much has happened, actually. <laughs> At least in terms of, you know, territorial exchanges, which isn't surprising, because we don't have a fucking giant-ass navy like the British do. Uh, although I do think in many ways it is better than the British navy. Uh, but it's still not quite the same size, which, of course, to invade stuff, you need to have a larger navy in the area, not necessarily just a better navy. But luckily, our uh, spies are doing great jobs for us those last two turns, which is, I think, you know, uh, surprising to say the least. It really is. But uh, yeah, that's helping us out quite a lot in that regard. Did a, a fair bit of damage to the British fleet in the Indian Ocean with both of those attacks off the coast of Zanzibar. But it could be better. And that's what we need. We need it to be better. But I'll see y'all next time. Until then, goodbye and farewell.